Hey guys. Hey, hair. Jeezy Pete. That looks like the Bride of Frankenstein. Anyway, this week on the 7 Love Bunnies, we are telling you about our New Year's resolutions. Or, as Bunny calls them, revolutions. Like, a planet going around the sun. Or, America overthrowing the Brits. This year I've decided to become a wino, and I would show you a couple bottles, except that I drank them all already, so we're off to a great start. I also plan on being more of a foodie. I want to kind of expand my horizons, try different things, and cook a lot more of my own meals, so that if I do get fat, I have nobody to blame but myself. For our skit, we're going to be reviewing some of our favorite videos from 2011. Hands down, one of my favorite YouTube videos of 2011, and it was a Christmas video, was by Mike My Day, and it's called, um... Worst Christmas present ever. Are you an aunt or an uncle? Yes, both. I subscribed to a lot of new YouTubers in 2011, and my new idol is Daily Grace. Friday, Foxy <laughs> Friday. Foxy. Yeah. L'Oreal Pantene Pro B commercial. My favorite music video of 2011 was "Shut the Fuck Up, Boy" by Nicki Lynette. I support gay marriage. They right should be equal. They got the right to fail at the same things that we do. If you don't find the following cute, then you have no soul. <laughs> best video of 2011 though was I Am Your Grandma and I really want to make a video just like it and I probably will if I drink enough wine. One minute to be questioned, we are telling you all about the things that we loved or hated during 2011, and both of mine can be combined into one thing, and that is my 365 day picture project. So here we go. As I kind of alluded to, all those things that you saw behind me in the room were all props that I had used throughout my 365 project, and I posted all of my photos on Daily Pooth and Facebook for all my friends and family and internet strangers to see. So I loved it because I came home and had a creative challenge every single day. It got me to look at the world a little bit differently, but at the same time I hated it because I felt like I had this daily obligation and I kept trying to force myself to do more outrageous or eye-catching or interesting things each week. So it really kind of became a drain, but at the same time it was also a source of creative energy for me. And I haven't really done anything like that in a while, so it was a nice change of pace from my daily grind that I'm usually involved in. So that, I would have to say, is probably my proudest accomplishment of 2011, and I will never do it again because it was also kind of a really painful process, so. But anyway, I've documented an entire year of my life. Done. Anyway guys, that's it for me this week, and I will see you next Monday. Bye. I should probably make one of my resolutions to get rid of this thing. Hello.